violence, there are images that all and even no longer believe and it will be less of an issue, which goes to show that the terrorists will even do something bigger in order to harm the people, in order to harm the government, to push forward their cause. And even if this is not true, we say that these terrorists will just push forward the largest attacks in order for them to generally get the attention of the media. Because we say that controlling the media in their sense is very impossible. Now let me proceed with my second argument, which is on human dignity. As we said, we would like to give these people the right to die with a dignified death. We say that because the, the, the government here is trying to propose to us that if, that if they, they, the government is already winning, then we will only show them the media places where the government is winning. If the, if the government wants to retreat, then we will already show the places where they are already selfless killing and stuff. But the DPM went on by saying that the government wants to promote peace and a diplomatic culture, which is very inconsistent with what the Prime Minister said. Because the Prime Minister said that we will still promote war at the end of the day, if war is the answer to the problem. Well, the DPM tried to show to us that at the end of the day, we can still attain peace by means of diplomatic actions. Now, what we see here is that the people does not, do not necessarily have to see the gravity of war for them to understand what is going on. The people cannot, uh, the people will have, will even be affected because the, what they perceive about war will, will really go further and will even affect the results of the war at the end of the day. And we have seen a lot of examples in which this happened. Now, their initial reaction will have even eventually visceral reactions that can worsen the situation which we are trying to mend in the very first place. That is why we don't want this to happen. Because if the media can just show whatever they want, then these people will have very violent reactions at the end of the day. Now, we say here is that the people are already exposed to the moral implications of these conflicts. That people can judge for themselves how bad war is. And they do not necessarily have to see what is the, the graphic details of everything that is happening. Now, what we say here is that we, on the opposition side, try to promote the safety of the journalists. We, on the opposition side, try to promote the rights of the people and what they have to see. And we, on the opposition side, believe that government and the media are two separate entities and that there is no sense for the government to really manipulate the media. Thank you.